Ryan, have you ever thought about being an architect? Have you ever thought about being a truck driver? Have you ever thought about being a salesperson? What about something in the medical field? Realtor? Listen to Career Pass every Thursday. Wherever you listen to podcasts. And on YouTube. You might learn something. You might not. It's your life. Make Make it happen. Memories fade. Career pass. But yeah, I took a bunch of medicine. Oh, uh, that explains what. Oh. Yeah, legal early. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Whatever it takes. 220, 221. Exactly. <laughs> you know that reference, don't you? Not a fan. I'm going to rewire this. You're going to do 220 or 221. We're going to go hunting. You're going to do 38 or 39. Mr. Monk. Michael Keaton. That's a Batman reference, by the way. Hey, Batman, your brother, and. You know, speaking of my brother and Batman, that was the only episode for me that had a family member on it. Yeah, and we, yeah, I, and how many? I, yeah, I've had like my first episode. Remember, we talked about in, uh, episode one hundred, last one. Uh, my brother Jim was our first guest. He would come back for an up, update already. Um, and nephew, we're getting ready to have him back on. My aunt, who's been a nurse forever and a day, got her on, did a two episode. Um, my cousin was actually in Spokane, he's out of the Seattle area, and he just changed jobs, careers, kind of, and uh, got him on. His brother can't, won't come on. He's in Phoenix and does, hmm. he goes, I don't think I wanted just recently. Said, you son of a, so. But yeah, you suck, you only have one relative. Yeah. You know, people like you. Yeah, I had one person that's not a relative, but same last name. Yeah. Well, I didn't have him, you had him on, but. <laughs> so good for you. Which. You had the same situation. The brand, yeah. The, One the, person that's not a relative, the, well, but same last name. Well, we don't know 100%. Uh, I, I can't remember what episode Brandon Boudreau uh, up in Canada he works yeah. for. Uh, yeah, he, uh, we're both Ultimate Warrior Wrestling fans, and that's how we got connected. And um, yeah, Boudreau spelled the same. There's no X on it. And in case you're wondering why there is an X or not an X, I told you the story. Yeah. So anybody else that's not smart enough, because I didn't know. It's a Louisiana. Uh, they put the X on it, but up in Canada, there's no X. I don't know why, but yeah. So there you go. That's inf- there's your nugget of information and knowledge today. So why can't you only have one family member? What, why do you suck so bad? Um, there's a lot of reasons why I suck so bad. <laughs> I line it up, <laughs> and yeah, here we are. Part of it is <laughs> scheduling. Oh, okay, good. That's all you got. Yeah, I don't call anyone to schedule them. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I couldn't have noticed. I didn't. <laughs> hey, what? I've scheduled a few people. <laughs> or I've given you names to schedule a few people. <laughs> However, it gets done. Uh, one brother, and I, we have this Mark Hopkins pilot. He wrote a book, he brought it to us. Sky he, God. <laughs> <laughs> Met him through the shock, and he autographed it. His sign to me. I'm just saying because yeah, because I know guy. Of course, you say you don't know how to read. Are you sure it's signed to you? I don't know. They said it was. <laughs> I, I was, he was we already they had him on, on twice just because of everything he'd done. He wanted to clarify some information. He contacted me after the first one, just going, "Hey, there's things that I, fine, Mark, come back on and." Hopefully we help somebody out along the way. Yep. Hopefully, I'm sure he has. I know he has outside of the show. So, very interesting. I know he has lots of stories he didn't share on the show. Yeah, he shared with just us. Just fascinating, but. Yeah, he shared with us some stuff that yeah. was probably he didn't want to share on. Yeah. He didn't want people to not feel safe in the plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, sort of. <laughs> my not. <laughs> um, and during the last episode, we don't have, there's a guy hang, hanging out, we had Nick, uh, he was on, I don't even know what show, it was not too long ago. No, uh, it was like 97 So or Nick works, 96? It, yeah, I worked with him part time, he's an assistant manager at a video game um, franchise corporation store, locally. Yeah. And uh, 
And I bring it up to, I told him, I and all the shows we've done, um, I don't leave the set tip. I don't leave, especially if we have somebody in-house, what we consider an in-house guest. Um, I didn't know everything about Nick. I learned so much more about Nick, and he's a Trekkie. And I'm not so much fanatical, but I had a few items that I had to go get just to share with him. And, yeah. So my one thing about walking off set, I know you didn't freak anyone else gave a crap, but but for me it was fun. I had to go, wait, wait, wait. So, because I have lots of toys. See, and I noticed you still haven't said Nick's last name. And he never said his last name. I, he said it was redacted. <laughs> and that's the way it is on our is podcast. It? it says Nick redacted. Yeah, yeah, you know, and off the top of my head, can't think of it. But he did give clues on how to find his last that's name. That's right. Oh, that's right. Okay. He was playing games. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Nick just came up. Talking about Nick, he, he actually gave us an idea for something new to add for our upcoming shows to try to, we got a new set. Have I showed you our new set? <laughs> I'm no Vanna White, but I'll... <laughs> uh, what were you doing? Van what? There's no letters. Okay, we can't read either, so. <laughs> and so, you're going to be doing it. So, I, what are... Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode. <laughs> we're going to start doing a... Uh, Trivia. A little trivia with our guests. Ask them some questions about maybe a entertainer and what they might have done or no. a historian. I never even thought of that. There's somebody in history that, no. you know, obviously Abe Lincoln. He was the president of the United States, by the way. Did you know that? Abe Lincoln? I've heard rumors, okay. yeah. He got shot, apparently. Yeah. That's what I hear. The other things I've heard, too, but. You know, that brings me to a question. How come more presidents don't get shot these days? Can we go back to that? <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Oh, the games we played. I, you're just making me laugh now. We're just being goofy right now. So if you're watching or listening, Brian's kind of drugged up because of uh, the allergies. I'm a little mixed up just in general, but I have the allergies and I'm a little tired. It's all downhill. We never, you're not being charged for this, people. Just remember that. This is all free. You're getting every penny of what you're paying yeah. for. Every minute is free. Uh, so we're doing trivia. You're going to start n next guest. So uh, we don't even know who th that will be. Episode no. 102. God, it's just bizarre. It is. 101. We're on 101 right now. Wow. That's just crazy. I'm, I just, it really just kind of blow me away. When yeah. I went looking for uh, decorations, something to you know make it a little festive, it's like, can't do a birthday. It's not a birthday. Um, congratulations. You graduated? No, that one. No, I said no. Happened. And you did well. Yeah. And you decorated okay, kind of, sort of. I did like you. Uh, even though it's mixed up now, but uh, just with the microphones and now just jazzing it up for fun. That's what I do. <laughs> He's not Mr. Very well, Mr. <laughs> Entertainment. That's why you're. That's, uh, I guess that's why, guys. Uh, for info tonight, Paul and Mitchell. That's why they, great well, guys. <laughs> you suck up to them so <laughs> uh, man. I know we've talked about that in the past, but what the F do you have on you? Did you did you catch one of them with cheating or something? What the I can't say. <laughs> then I can't use it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Talking about uh Infonet. Do you like that segue? I do, yes. So Infonet is expanding. That's what they're that's what we've heard. Yes. Bring it on Evan. Becoming a hosting platform. Wow. Be bringing on other podcasts. There's a couple in the works right now yeah, that'll yeah. be joining us. We've heard, but we don't know for certain, so we're not going to say who, but yeah. a couple of them that have been out there. Is that Possibly one? three. Oh, wow. Right now. So hopefully we'll learn. That's part of the plan, I guess, with Infonet originally is to be yeah. able to do career passes um, as well as others. Um, Rob Bradbury, our just recent guest, is talking about doing some. We talked about. Um, was, yeah, so he yeah, we go. should get a podcast going with him. Um, you know, he's yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's some stuff we can talk about. Yeah, but there's a lot of uh, I think talking about this stuff. That's the only thing is, but yeah, just con conspiracy or what's going on and us being a little bit older generation. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, you, you watch podcasts once or listen. Do you ever listen to a younger 
group of people doing one that's that's conspiracy because my you know i haven't i need to kind of I, I should search out some of those because only i only uh, my woman got me hooked up. she likes true crimes and stuff and there's a this gentleman I, we need to contact see if we can have him on the show it'll be uh, yeah. online but um his sarcasm to do with this the, the messed up stories of people killing people with <coughs> excuse me etc is why she recommended it to me yeah there's bad shit out there constantly yeah and uh that's one reason once again rob bradbury i've known forever was uh when you don't watch certain things movies and stuff, no gangster or blah blah why do i have to watch something that i already know that's going on so i like to do comedies etc but it's anyone that first started really listening to podcasts yeah. i got into a lot of the true crime and stuff like that right. and you get too deep into that you i'm pretty sure you can get away with murder by the uh, there's yeah. ways oh yeah there's ways and uh you know so now i've sort of expanded my my uh whatever repertoire of what you listen to yeah that good word work. thanks <laughs> <laughs> and uh but i need to add more of the conspiracy theory type stuff in there too i got a little bit but not we might through rob um his brother i we talked to rob i, I know i did his brother wrote a book, um, was an airline pilot also, and there's more to him. Uh, it has some stuff to do with Amelia Earhart. Hmm. Uh-huh. And once again, conspiracy. Um, where she, what happened to her? Apparently, he uh, he's more than aware, and that's what we'll get. Hopefully, we'll have him. He might be the next guest, actually. No. Yeah. So, yeah. Just, uh, so, see, that's the thing doing the crib has. I want to reach out. We've talked about this recently. Some of the guests that we're looking at, trying to contact that are doing stuff that I'm interested in, you're interested in, conspiracy or unknown. And, uh, but that's not what we're really going for. So we're, yeah. we're gonna do what they're doing and just be, no, we wanna know why they're doing and how they got into it and et cetera. Um, yeah, I think it's part of the interesting thing because why we got here, who knows why, but the other guys that are doing podcasts, um, always learning, for me, I always learn. So why, how they got to the point they are. Because you can have the same job, same careers, and be along the same way life-wise, but there's all the variances. Oh, yeah. So, it's, this is a dream. What else we got? What else we got? So, we got an upcoming podcast. We got to look at my... Can you read my notes? Um, so, is there a certain guest, or I guess, maybe not a guest, but a certain career that we've touched on that kind of hits home more for you than... Any of the uh, others? I don't know if we, I, I, good question. I don't know if it, I, I find it fascinating with anybody doing what they do, because my life has been so different. So, I, I am aware because I grew up with normality, if you will, with dad being Air Force and my mom would stay at home mom and my brothers like we beat on each other and families that we were involved with, your family. I mean, yeah, I knew it was gonna happen can't take you anywhere if it's not gonna be so, I, i'm just <laughs> <sighs> well, i'm not oh well there's i broke in the new set yeah there's a tower on it's been christened <laughs> it wasn't with coca-cola thank god <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah i don't nothing's no i know people on and we not all the people I'll take got nothing. It. yeah i got nothing it's all good um i know people on both sides of the law that uh, low places and uh, r good law, uh, yeah, pilots, uh, nurses, doctors. I, I, I don't have anything that sticks out in my mind. That brings me, would, is there a career that you haven't done that, that, that one of our guests is doing or done that you would be interested in? So yeah, there's a swerve on that one. You know, when I was younger, yeah, now I don't want to change again because you know, Shit, you're getting old and lazy. And that was just what <laughs> that would have been. You know, we touched on last episode, touched on Vince. Yeah, keep talking. Running. I'm walking off the set, by the way. Keep <laughs> again. How he was a headhunter for actuaries. Yes, being an actuary actually to me sounds super fascinating. Yes, something I think I would have really enjoyed at one point. Yes. But 
I will say this too. Not sure how long I would have stayed in it being younger, just because I am more of an outside guy. Right. So if I'm stuck in an office very long, I kind of go nuts and <laughs> would either get someone fired or get myself fired or. How many know, times has that happened, by the way? Right? End up in HR or. <laughs> Uh, you'll have to wait and listen to the future episode. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can't wait. But then, you know, we got like, we had Dan Stamina. Stamina. Yeah, Danny. Thanks, episode Dan. Episode 28, by the way. Dan Stamina was, oh, no, Dan was recently. I got 28 down here. Uh, what you, huh. I mean, is it just. That can't be right, though. Yeah, they can't be right. Dan was on just within the last four or Maybe five. Maybe like 98 or no. I don't know, you're. 88 or. Okay, you're handy. Anyways. <laughs> Dan Stamnis. But, you know. Yes. He had talked about a career that I could get into what, after my body doesn't let me be a general contractor anymore. Right, the computer stuff. And just, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, one of, he's basically doing project management, you know, through his programs yeah, and stuff. I do agree. What he was doing, had, had, I did find interesting. That I, for me, it would be obviously getting into it more as long as there's the variance. Yeah. And that was the thing with any of our guests or for me job wise, uh, there's not yeah, there's nothing I want to try. I they just, know of yet. I yeah. just haven't had them on yet. Yeah, but in jobs and careers in general, you know yeah. I'm looking for when I'm gonna grow up. Because I've already done my dream jobs, I've already done all that stuff and so I most, still don't know what my dream job is. <clears throat> I you know, see I can say that. I'm doing you know, I didn't get to where I wanted to go, where I thought to that level of inter entertainment as a musician, but what I did was very satisfying and yet never left or missed stuff, relation or holidays, birthdays with family, etc. Yeah. So, yeah, so perspective again, um, being on the other end of life, and yeah, I just, yeah, I just, I, I actually, hopefully, we can still do this and keep doing it, where we can actually maybe, it'd be nice to be able to just make a living doing this or something along, along the lines, Mike, I learned that ring thing, um, too, because that's one of the things that I realized that um, doing all the stuff I've done to help somebody out, not not to uh, to be able to teach them something, to help them improve their life, mm -hmm. not to give them a fish, but to teach them how to fish. Yeah. So, and I, to be able to do something like that or to uh, give a kid a perspective or I don't know what I've done, but it comes back. I just had it happen yesterday where they're thanking me for being a part of their family and being, yeah, it's just crazy. So, but if I can change somebody's life in a positive, because there's so much shit out there. <coughs> we're letting it, excuse me, <laughs> letting our, our allergies stuff up. Now we're, yeah. You know, the more I keep thinking back on episodes, guest, all our episodes yes. and guests Look and stuff. Up. You know, we touched on last episode, episode 100, back on episode 100. <laughs> you're, you almost feel like you're drunk. <laughs> that, uh, I'm just getting tired. Tired. That, uh, yeah. yes. Jeez, maybe I am. <laughs> episode 100 and catching on. No, we had touched on um, how the majority of guests, you've known them. Right throughout acquaintances or yeah. more closer family and, you know a good handful of them i knew yeah you know oh you knew you, of them or yes, knew them because we're friends because, with, you yeah. know hey, yeah. where we all went to school yeah. things like that yes because you know brothers and sisters around yep. the same age and stuff right, yep. but uh one of them that i did find very fascinating and we became friends and we've kind of Lost contact recently, but I would like to actually get back in touch with them. Was Koi now? I, I was actually coming through when you said school and stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. Saw, I saw his name come up with one too. Well, when we interviewed him, yeah, they have it some... was for realtor and lobbyist. Yeah, yeah. That part was really fascinating. How he got moved into uh, lobbyist and I forget the number of uh, what episode it was. It's like an early within. It was number nine. Yeah. Wow. Very early. I, I have, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, you just need to reach out to him. Yeah. I'll put that on my list of things. I know he's left. still up north. As far as I know, he moved a I mean, little ways out of town. Okay. So right. <clears throat> makes it more difficult. But. Right. Um, yeah, that's 
what he's done in his life, considering what we knew, what I knew him in high school, he was just a cowboy. Yeah, farm boy, cowboy. It, we, you know, our school, fortunately, we didn't have. We had other, you know, cliques, but we we didn't hate or. Yeah. It was, it was just like because you, everybody knew everybody. Our school was too small. To, <laughs> yeah. To, I mean, you, know, you had the one or two people that you hated. Mate, but yeah. Then, that was it. It wasn't a group or anything. Yeah, no. No. There's so many of the groups intermingled. Yes. You know, you might be, you know, a stoner, but you're also a, a jock, jock because yep. we don't have a big enough school exactly. to have exactly. separate. Yeah. <laughs> you well, know? How, many, how many graduating in your class? A hundred. Yeah, we were a little or, less than that. I think we... Barely. I think we ended with 99 or 98 or nice. something. It was supposed to be 100. You know, and if anybody went to school with us and actually watches or catches one of these, contact us. We'd love, we'll do a Zoom interview. And yeah. Test base. We well, haven't hit that one. That's a good idea. There's other ones uh, that I do have on Facebook. Since we finally do, did the Zoom interviews and we do the in interviews, I am getting tired and that I feel like I'm doesn't famous. show. I know. Jeez, thank goodness. Yeah. Um, yeah, we need to do that also. I think that'd be good. Get people up from school without um, having to do reunions. Yeah. I just had somebody reach me. Something to do with my class. And it's like, I don't hate anybody in my class. I just, I wish them well. But the last one I went to was like a 20 year. And, you know. Yeah. Just, you know. Reunions aren't all the yeah. cracked up the babies. Yeah. Anybody that I am friends with or wanted to see, I am seeing or in contact. And they're yeah. not necessarily in my uh we're, we're in my class uh, rob Mildes, a former guest of ours does some yeah. service uh roger pratt um off the top of my head I, there's gonna be a couple others uh, uh kevin king i went to school with him in case you didn't know that one yeah yeah i've was, heard that rumor yeah you, you've heard, kevin king he was a police officer by the he way. was so I'm yeah just, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna have to wrap it up we we're at 101 i can't believe it thank you i he asked me i'm very yeah, you know how I feel. I'm very grateful. I you, do. I know how he feels. <laughs> you felt me off. <laughs> I felt him up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's all downhill. So when we're mean to each other, and we're not. So yeah. and that's how we are. If anybody ever wonders, I've had people outside the situation with, with me in particular, where they go, "God, you're a jerk." Okay. Actions speak louder than words. That's one of my other phrases. Actually, I've had friends over the years at different times, you know, make the comment that, you know, they're like, it's kind of rude and mean and stuff. I'm like, that means he likes you. <laughs> I'm flirting. If he's nice and polite to you, he don't like you. <laughs> yeah, why? But uh, once again, if I was nice, to, we're either someone's dying or somebody yeah. owes money. I don't, yeah. My good, my true friends, and you're one of them, and... We don't talk. I mean, yeah, we talk, but it's not usually. It's there's sarcasm and uh, mean things said. Yeah, that's how we greet and meet. And I'll see you later, you son of a, or etc. And there's worse, way worse. Oh yeah. So, and that's even with my mom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you know? Do you, does your son know what you say? Yes, I know what Vic says about me. I call her names, and she knows. But actions speak louder words. I love my mother. You love my mother. I do. And we're going to talk about that later. So on that note, anything else you want to add? Anything else sticks out? I'm you know, just one other thing that yeah, I can please. think of offhand. Sure. So we are looking for sponsors. We're going to oh, be, right. yeah. you know, contacting some people that we think would be a great sponsor because we don't want this to just be a one-sided thing. Correct. We, we don't want you to just give us money and we yeah. like... We're, we're working on it so we actually can do part of the event planning or et cetera so we can do stuff or yeah. business that are involved with us, et cetera, we're gonna be involved with you in a positive because that's the basic concept of what we wanna do and there's so much crap out there and figure out what we gotta do and how we gotta do it. Yeah. So, so if you are interested in being a sponsor. Please contact us. Contact us. Do we have an email? We do. <laughs> I know you deal with that. I and the guys in the, I didn't put rarely, it. <laughs> I rarely look at you it. You looked at it in the last year? It is career paths, all one word, dot info net oh also dot, all one word right wow at gmail.com wow, i i think you might i they sent you or office sent it to me initially or so. yeah but i don't know how to probably mitchell he's I, always on top of his game <laughs> <laughs> oh on that note <laughs>
I think I get a raise from that. God, that was a good brownie point right there. You're sucking like bull. I mean, <laughs> that's, they, do they take you for real? Apparently. I'm still here, aren't I? Apparently. <laughs> Uh, yeah, usually and good. I got promoted to host from being behind the camera. So. <laughs> what are you, you, are you? Oh my God! You have something on there? Or, yeah, never mind. Huh. I got nothing. Or maybe they had something on. No. No. <laughs> You'd be gone. <laughs> we apologize for us being goofy. I think uh, the uh, tired, the uh, uh, sinus, and uh, yeah. oh, Jesus. My nose is running. That's how bad it is. And I can't find... Oh, there it is over there. So, on the note, Mr. Ryan King. Mr. Victor Boudreaux. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. You really do. You know that. Um, let us know. Send in, share, comment, like. We're on iHeart. We're on Spotify. Spreaker. Wait, actually, we just added like oh, three gosh. more new ones that I can't think of their names now because okay. it was that new. sudden. Right. Yeah, and it was... We'll have to get that I got list. like emails all of a sudden saying, you're on. And it's like, oh... Cool. Allergies, I guess. Yeah. And I ah. can't look it up because right. I don't have my phone with me right now. Bless. Ah, allergies, man. Or concerns I had. Somebody get the hell out. Yeah. <laughs> one of those. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Uh, 101. Episode 100. Woohoo! Woo! New set. Um, we're adding stuff to the show. Hopefully it'll get better. <laughs> can't get worse, so. Uh, Get it? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's like knowing uh, Oscar. Remember Oscar Adams? Yeah. Um, he, we've talked about, I've talked to him about doing a podcast. He is going to, he's doing for writing right now. And he commented on, he watched a couple episodes, I think either right before he came on or afterwards, and telling me I shouldn't be interrupting the guest, which was my brother's. So that's, he didn't know that. So, that's yeah. Why. Maybe some stories. We had <laughs> we had a guest. Yes, we had one. Um, his name is slipping my mind. Looks like he so. was a nurse. Did teaching? Oh, um, I think at SEC. Matt, I think it is Matt. Matt. He Matt has Smith. a pod or had a podcast. Uh, he has a podcast. Does he still have that going? I don't know. I haven't talked to him recently. Um, I'll have to follow up. I know I, we. Uh, it's been several months that I've had contact with him. I see he's doing stuff. Otherwise, family wise, wife wise, so. I'll have to reach out. We need to get him back on for an update interview. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, Matt Smith. And you know, that just makes me think, too, because I enjoy listening to podcasts whenever I have the chance. Right. So if any of you guys are listening to podcasts that you find yeah. super yeah. fascinating stuff, share them with it, us. And My brother Jim actually had something in his conspiracy. I have to, can't think of it right now, um, but he was, I love the conspiracy, either government or history stuff. Yeah. And their take on certain things. So I will, uh, for the next episode, episode 102, by the way, no matter what. 102. We'll, uh, I think that we're going to have to add that to the show, by the way. See if we podcast, maybe we could recommend, or vice versa. Yeah. What do you think? We're going to try to do stuff and have fun with it. Because we suck and we don't have fun now. I got a few that I enjoy quite a bit. Nice. So. Well, you've told me a couple of them. Yeah. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah. That one time. Alrighty, on that note, episode 101. God, just blown me away. Over and out. Uh, well please like, subscribe, so. comment. Um, stay tuned. I got my hours, I'm just going. Leave a review. <laughs> Hate. You know. <laughs> I believe the said you All the normal. <laughs> it's your life. Make, make it, it happen. happen. Open my finger, my finger. Take 24. La 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 la. Career day!